These are my classroom expectations. The classroom expectations that I have are to be a problem solver, which comes from the Wolf Way. In my mind, whenever I think of a problem solver, one of the first things that I'm going to encourage you to do in this class is just to use your eyes when there's a problem. When I say use your eyes, I mean like look around the classroom to see if you can find the answer to whatever the question is that you're looking for. And if you can't see it, then think about it first and use your mind before you move on because you are surrounded by some of the brightest minds and we should all work together to solve problems together so that we can be problem solvers together but also individually. Whenever I say use your eyes, um, I have a lot of students ask me things like, where are the Kleenex? Can I have a Kleenex? And you are always welcome to have a Kleenex. See if you can spot the number of places around the classroom where there are Kleenex boxes. There are four of them. And by every Kleenex box, there's a hand sanitizer, as well as some wipes in case something gets spilled. Um, in the hallway, I'll have students that are like, oh, I spilt water because you're allowed to carry a water bottle. And they're like, how do I clean this up? Anybody see the space in this classroom where you can, I don't know, clean up some water? If you've spotted it, it's where the paper towels are right by the door. Um, you're welcome to those anytime that they're needed. So one of the first things I encourage you to do is just to use your eyes be a problem solver and help return things where they need to go. Uh, the second one that's part of the Wolf Way is to be kind. This is to other students, yourself, and adults. This is with your words both spoken in the room and outside the classroom and online. I try really hard never to raise my voice, one, because I have the notes on my vocal cords, but two, because I want to treat you the way that I would want to be treated, and that's with respect, and I hope and will expect that you treat each other the same way with respect. The third part of the wolf weight is to be respectful. This includes to yourself and others and their property and my property. Uh, in the respecting category of respecting property, some things that I would be surprised that I would have to tell sixth graders or just middle schoolers or people in general, but these are some general rules um, that I've come across um, when it comes to respecting property, specifically in my classroom. And so I'm gonna walk you through some of them. Uh, number one is over here, you'll see that there's a student section. Uh, in this student section, you're welcome to use any of these materials, glue sticks, scissors, color pencils, whatever, but whenever you're finished with them, you need to put them back in the space that they're designated so that the classroom can stay organized for the next class. When it comes to glue sticks, I'm surprised, this is one of the ones that I'm surprised I have to tell middle schoolers, but glue sticks, you are welcome to borrow them, but what I do not want to see is you twisting the cap so that the glue stick is all the way out of the glue stick, and then cutting it off or whatever with the cap getting stuck to the glue. You know what I'm talking about, those of you who have done this before. If I see you do this, you'll get an off the trail ticket for being disrespectful to property. Um, another one that I think is kind of funny, um, in my classroom, I have stools. And these stools are a pretty, I don't even know if you're gonna be able to see them because of the green screen, but these stools are five bucks, they're, which means that they're really inexpensive. Um, and they are for sitting, they're not for anything else. I've seen students use these in all kinds of ways and you are not to use them in any way except to sit on. Please don't lean on any of the legs because again, they're just not the most stable. You need to have all four feet on the floor. Um, I don't wanna see them being used as, I mean, I wish I could demonstrate all of this. I've had kids wear them as like a Ninja Turtle backpack. I don't wanna see any Ninja Turtle backpacks. Um, I've had students use them as I don't know, like sword type things or like jousting or haha. -ha, I'm, I'm just swinging it, Miss Moffo. Like, no. If you are using one of these stools, the only thing that it should be used for is to set on the floor and then to sit on it properly or to set your things on. Um, another one that I like to go over as far as property in my room includes atlases. Please be, that's upside down. <laughs> Please make sure that whenever you're using an atlas, I have an old one as an example. Uh, this year we have some brand new ones that the PTA purchased for us. And they're just like not very durable. And so one of the ways that you can help take care of atlases is to make sure that you're 
carrying them properly, but also that you're not bending the spine backwards or like rolling over the page. This one, it, this has happened already and the page has just come out of the middle of it. So please make sure if you're ever using an atlas that you just open it up flat and that you don't put any kind of pressure or fold it backwards so that they can stay in really good condition for years to come. So that's kind of all the things that kind of come to mind with um, being respectful to materials, but it also does include your devices. You need to make sure that you're being respectful of your property, the devices at the school, and using them when it's an appropriate time. Uh, my last classroom expectation is to ask questions. I expect that you will ask questions and communicate not just with me, but with your classmates, with your parents, and with other adults as well. I love questions, and I think that they are what makes our world a better place because you are all so bright and capable. Most of the time, if you ask me a question, instead of answering your question with an answer, I may ask you more questions or give you some direction so that you can come to the conclusion yourself.